What's going on guys, it's Promod Sin and I am back with episode, what is this, 12 now of the Sin Challenge. Sorry if you guys can hear the background noise. Um, it seems like every freaking neighbor I have today is going to mow their lawn. It, it, there's been lawn mowers going on and weed whackers for the last at least hour and a half. Uh, so, and I really need to knock off this video, I got a lot of other stuff to do today, so I'm really sorry if it's really loud, I'll see what I can do about it in Vegas. So, basically this episode is just going to be about training a few Pokemon up. I don't really want to go do Wally. Actually, let's just go fight Wally. Let's humiliate him and uh, get that over with. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah I know, know. You're talking to your uncle or whatever and trying to convince him to let you do the whole um, gym leader challenge thingy. I, I don't know. I've only been up for like an hour. And I'm still groggy as hell. Uh, so, sorry if this doesn't really make any sense. Pretty quick one hit KO with the Metal Claw from Aron. I mean, I was, what, seven levels higher than him or something like that? So, I feel kind of bad because I think I just made Wally kind of give up on a life. But, <clears throat> you know, maybe he's actually. Actually, he will actually uh, try to do the, the league challenge or something. I don't remember exactly. It's been years since I played this. Scott, you are freaking weird, and I'm not a big fan of yours. Even in the anime, you were a little strange. Just so you know, sir. Alright, um, I think. You know what? I'm actually thinking that I'm gonna first. I'm gonna get off that bike like I just did. I'm thinking I might go put Slack off in the uh, the stupid little daycare for a minute because Slack off, oh, he just takes forever to level up, and I I don't know for this gym coming up. I don't really know if I want to uh, to do the whole. Uh, I don't know if I want to put the experience share on him just on Slack off just yet, but do you know what? I think I will because I don't know the daycare. It, it's expensive, even though I'm not going to use the money on anything else really, and it's I don't know if it's really worth it to be honest. So we're gonna battle this guy real quick, and we'll see how Slack off does on uh, experience here. So I don't know how Metal Claw does really against flying types because it's it, like it's not very effective against some really weird typings so right there slack off got to level six um i don't know why these guys always want to register their phone numbers in my phone it's kind of weird but whatever so we're going to pick up these berries real quick and then we'll go ahead and uh go do the next battle and we might actually, you know, uh, Rosalias are really common in the grass around here, and they give out really good experience. So we might do some off-screen battling to uh, to get a few levels, depending on how the levels are looking for my team after this. Encore, Encore isn't good in this. I mean, it's good in competitive, it can be at least, but it's not very good in regular uh, doing what we're doing here regular playthrough. Oh, of course he lives with 1 HP. Did I flinch him? I didn't even look. Aron gives like crap XP. Basically like nothing we're gonna fight from this guy. I think it might take this whole battle just to get me to level 24 with Aron. But Slackoth's already at level 8 so we're doing good there. And then we're about to one hit KO this thing with some Metal Claw action. Oh, and an unnecessary crit. Alright, so level 24, that's some good news. I don't remember when he evolves into Lyron or Laron or whatever it's called. More than likely, we won't really keep this guy around for very long. I don't know, it kind of depends on what pops up for other typings that will be more useful. Um, I might keep him until I get uh, Bagon, but see, I think Bagon you can't really catch until after Elite Four, and I've probably already talked about this, but I don't care. Um, I'm just kind of kind of hyper, but I'm kind of groggy at the same time, so this is very weird. It's going to make for a very interesting episode for you guys, hopefully. Hopefully I don't fail it miserably. Alright, so we'll Metal Claw, Zigzagoon, and we'll peck Makuhita. And of course Makuhita lives because you're a fucking fat bitch. Um, so Slack Off's at level 9, and I get the feeling Slack Off is going to have a lot of health. 
but that's just me. So yeah, we're just gonna overkill this Makuhita because it doesn't really matter to do anything else. Stoner Chicks to 23 now. And I really need to go and like give some nicknames to these guys. I think I do that in Slateport. But I don't have any nicknames in mind. So maybe I actually need to take a take some time and sit down and come up with some nicknames for these guys. I don't know. Oh, I'm just really busy lately. So I'm trying to knock out these videos when I can and when I'm not actually working on the video, I'm trying to do a thousand other things. It's like for example, my room is a mess right now because yesterday my the internet in my room went out, not in like my house, but what I have is I have a router set up in the office for my mom to use and I have an ethernet cord that runs underneath the house into my room to a switch so that I can have wire, uh, wired internet in here and uh, something happened to that cable and it, it just started failing on me. I, I could only have internet for I don't know a few seconds at a time and why are you going to detect really? So I had to go buy a new $30 cable and I had to crawl under my house uh, and run that new cable, which was not fun considering I'm a pretty b good sized guy. I'm like 6'6", six, six, so it was not very easy to get underneath the house. Once I got under there, it wasn't too difficult because I'm not like a overly large guy. I'm about 200, 205 pounds, something like that. So I'm not like gigantic. I'm just really tall, so it, it wasn't too hard to maneuver once I got down there. It was just, I, I think it actually took me longer to get in underneath the house and it actually took for, for me to do all the work under there anyways I don't know why I went into so, I don't know why I went into so much detail about that but that that whole project yesterday took probably four or five hours because traffic of course I had to wait until like almost rush hour traffic to try to go to Best Buy to buy the freaking cable because I didn't want to drive three times as far in bad traffic to go to Fry's, and they didn't really have a better price, sadly. Um, if you guys don't know what Fry's is, it's basically like a giant electronics store. Uh, it's like a, almost like a warehouse, um, and they have really good deals on stuff usually, like HDMI cables for like two dollars and stuff like that. Uh, it's really good prices. I don't know the extent of how far Fry's goes. I, I know it's like in California a lot, which is where I'm from, but. I don't know outside of that. Um, so yeah, I had to spend like four or five hours doing that yesterday, and so of course that completely almost ruined me from doing anything else that yesterday. Especially since I had to wear, a, well I didn't have to, I chose to wear this uh, suit called a Tyvek suit, and basically it was to keep all the crap from getting onto my clothes when I was crawling around under there, and it just got all over that. And uh, so that of course made it, it basically like was like a sweatsuit almost so I was like super de dehydrated when I got out from under there and uh, I was sweating so badly that like my whole face was completely wet and that's what she said kind of I don't know anyways uh, so I had to drink a bunch of water and just kind of relax played a little bit of Call of Duty with uh, some, some of the Pro Mods guys last night. <sighs> so it was a very interesting day yesterday. So hopefully I can actually get more stuff done today. So I got a lot of stuff to take care of. Um, <clears throat> oh my god, these battles are so, these guys are so weak. I could almost send Slack off out here and he could fare just as well. It's so pathetic. Um, kind of running out of stuff to talk about at the moment so we're just gonna keep spamming headbutt pretty much oh and a nice little flinch there since Shroomish was being a bitch and left how on earth oh it's a spore it's not actual uh... see this Rosalia should actually give some pretty decent experience yeah 178 that's way better than anything else we were getting so Slackoth is already at level 13 that's really good um, since he was at level what five or six or something like that when we started this uh, so hopefully he'll actually get to a pretty decent level by the time this is all said and done and we've basically gained a full levels worth of experience so we're gonna go in and heal since we can 
and yeah, there's not a whole lot of reason for it. Oh wow, we're already at 10 minutes. Holy crap! Um, I don't. Why are you calling me? How do you have my number? This is craziness. He just got a Pokemon app and he already has my freaking number. We're, oh, here's the gym. All right, so we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna go ahead and try to battle these guys one at a time. We're just gonna see how we fare. Hopefully, we don't do too bad. That would be really disappointing. A thunder punch is a very stupid move to use against me. Confusion was not any better. So as long as they keep using stupid moves, I think. Ooh, takedown. Yes. Especially since he has the ability called Rockhead, which prevents uh, recoil damage from happening. So takedown is actually going to be our strongest attack right now. And we might actually be able to one hit KO this guy with takedown. So let's try it out. See how, how it works. Oh, and of course you miss. Is your fucking dumb bitch. <sighs> one HP, really? One HP. Alright, so we're definitely going to have to go heal after this. These battles aren't very difficult at all. Um, but I think we'll actually be able to get through the other three guys today before this episode is done. If I have time, hopefully I'll be able to record one more episode. We'll see how that works. Uh, so we'll battle this guy. I don't know, I'm kind of worried about that mana trick thing because it's pretty powerful, to be honest. It's, like, quite powerful. So take down one hit KOs that thing. Slack off grows to level 14. And he's going to send out a Voltorb now. And he's going to screech me because, you know, that's going to do so much help for you. Or do so much for you. Yeah. So Shockwave doesn't really do that much. I wish I kind of had caught a Geodude because Shockwave wouldn't have done anything to it. But, you know what? I didn't because I'm stupid apparently. So... We'll battle this guy. It looks like we have two left. I'm going to try to do them one at a time because that'll be much easier. And of course, he's going to keep one hit KO in these guys for days. And why do you have a random gulpin? I don't understand that. And he, good thing you don't fall asleep. Alright, sorry. This is like really even boring for me, to be honest with you. I mean, it's kind of just like grinding through these guys. This isn't very difficult at all. Hopefully the gym leader will be a little bit more exciting, let's say. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll save the gym leader for tomorrow's episode. Why do you have an Illumuse? Illumuse? I don't know how to pronounce your name. And I didn't even know it could learn Shockwave. But why do you have one anyway? They suck. Actually, they give really good experience though. And a Volby. Awesome. This guy is just trolling the shit out of me right now. And I think I can take one more shockwave. Oh my god, I gotta switch. I gotta switch. So Stoner Chick, you're coming out to save the day. Because I'm not gonna lose my guy to a Bulby. It's not gonna happen. The Slack Off's already at level 15. And we're definitely gonna go heal. And I think I'm going to take the experience share off Slack off because he's grown, what, almost, I think, 10 levels now. And that's pretty much good enough, in my opinion, for right now at least. So, uh, Slack off. That gets taken away from you. We're going to run back over here. Uh, turbo mode for the win. And we're going to battle this last guy right up here. And we might actually have to go heal again. <sighs> Charge. I don't even remember what that does, to be completely honest. But you're just going to use Sonic Boom, which does a standard 20 damage. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but I'm definitely going to want to go ahead and go heal again. Oh, crap. I should have switched. But we'll see how Mud Slap does in damage. Oh, my goodness. That was pretty epic on damage, but that was also quite a few levels lower than what the other guys are going to be. I don't know if I'm actually going to be using um, any mud slap action here. I might just spam takedown. 
Uh, we'll see. I really wish I had like a leftovers or something like that. But I do not. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to run back over to the gym leader. And then we're going to wrap up this episode. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please leave a rating. Um, preferably if you enjoyed it, leave a like rating. That'd be really nice. If not, I understand, you know, if you, if you dislike the video, you dislike the video. But I would really like it if you would go ahead and give me a reason why you disliked it. Or the comment in the comment section below. Also, tell me some things you'd like to see in the future episodes of this series. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter along with the Pro Mods, the official Pro Mods Twitter. And like our Facebook page for all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.